previously on Blacksmith's Bootcamp. Please, please dedicate yourself to getting through this. My name's Ryan Sheriff, 35. Experience with horses is zero. That would be easier, not gonna lie. That would be a little bit easier. I challenged Tyler over there to a pizza eating contest. Walk in the park. So will it still be a hardworking personality or will it be a lazy personality? You don't know until it happens. Everything's kind of led to this and it feels just, feels like I was made for it. Did the pizza pass through you yet? No, it's tonight. Knowing a lot of the school already and having experience, what do you think about this so far? I've enjoyed it. And Chris and Cody both gave me good pointers on what to work on and where I lack. How's the foraging going? Slow, <laughs> very slow. <laughs> it's definitely a big learning curve. Um, I don't like getting burnt, so I about caught myself on fire yesterday morning, so trying to forge well. The horseshoe sandwich, I'm, I feel like I'm close on. Cool. So. I don't know if I'll actually make the, the right dimensions for it. I'll clinch for sure. Now this part of it could be better. <laughs> so what am I looking for? Oh. So are you done with everything else? Um, basically. Basically? Um, basically, so the other three feet are done? Well, he's, that one's done all the way and then that one's that was done all the way? getting So we often, We'll put the nails over. Well, <laughs> so it's not done all the way. Okay. So this it, is what it, happens. Say, Are you done? Oh yes, I just got to trim the horse and then nail the shoes on. Like, other than that, I'm done. <laughs> That's a common thing. And then good jerking motion. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got this. You got this. Kill the bird. Look at this move. Look at you go. There it is. There you go. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. That's all she wrote. Uh-huh. See, that was easy. That was the easiest thing all day. Did you, did you look at it? She was level. It is level? It's level. Are you want to bet? I'll bet you 20 push-ups it's not. 20 push-ups? So now that you want to make a bet out of it, I'm not so confident about, not level. about my answer. So I want you guys to see it. Here's a way to look at it. If I hold it here and I move it like this, you can watch the heels with the horizon. And then, so this heel is lower than that one. And then when I turn it this way, I can confirm my original opinion or I can do it here. So now that I told you, look at that. Look at it first the other way. You can see it from the other way. Uh, you see how that's down? Yeah. So then you can look at it from the toe but that's really where you're gonna confirm that particular diagnosis. 
today we, we got up a little bit early, um, just with the heat. We, we started a, a few hours early, which everyone was totally okay with. Um, went to our first stop, which had a bunch of cow horses. So um, me and Zaria worked on a horse that had uh, four shoes and one had a lateral extension on the front left, which meant that I needed more support there. So um, thankfully that, that horse was uh, pretty patient with me and uh, let me take my time and, and pull its shoes off. Um, I, I learned a lot about why it needed more support on that, that left foot. Um, and uh, it, it took way longer than, than most people. I mean, if you watch everyone else today, it was, um, especially everyone else with more experience, it looks like magic. But after we got done with the, the cow horses, we went to another place, which I think they had some, um, a variety of quarter horses. And um, I was able to drive some nails and um, figure things out a little bit more. I feel like today I got more control over my hands and, and what they're doing and my, my brain's communicating a little bit better with my hands. I mean, there's still definitely some short circuiting there, but it's, it's getting there. been very exhausting, tiring. There's a lot of stuff to do and you feel like you don't have enough time for it. Get ready at 8.30. Usually we're all loading into the van, heading out somewhere. And usually that's not the only place you're going. You go do horses there, maybe you have like half hour for lunch. Might go somewhere else, do some more horses. Come back here, class work, and then you're probably done by like 5.30 and then you're done like being instructed but then you got to get all your forge projects done and that's all on your own time so like it's free time but it's not really free time oh. that's the OG now we're working on a better version a little too thin on the ends yeah minor crack there so we gotta we gotta work on that. Leonard Skinner. That's all I gotta say. Leonard Skinner. I was surprised how quick we got under horses. I mean, that was the first day was draft horses for me, which was awesome because, like I said, I haven't been under them at all. And so to go from, um, I think maybe the worst that I could have, you know what I mean, to it's getting easier and easier. So. Bien hecho, chico. Nice. No hablo español, but I'll take it. Oh my goodness, guys. So how do you make the decision to hold on or fight it? You fight it. Okay. <laughs> as long as you can. Oh, okay. Don't get flung yeah. that so way. So the thing is, if you lose the early battles, yeah. you've set yourself up for a long, long day. I kind of got a weird path, I guess, because horseshoeing was never on my radar. I mean, I've not even up until I moved to Tennessee. And my wife's, I mean, my wife has been the one who's been into animals and originally before she came a nurse, she wanted to be a vet and was on that path. And so she picked up riding and my daughter picked up riding and that got me out around the horses and watching the farrier at the barn that, that they ride at. And uh, kind of thinking to myself, I could do it. You know, I, I've been lucky enough that I've been a stay at home dad for four years, needed to get back into the workforce. And I didn't want to go back to carpentry, what I've been doing. As far as the trimming and I mean, I've got, I've got work to do in that for sure, but fake it till I make it. <laughs> so, how close are you to feeling like you're about ready to try a final run? Pretty close. I thought about doing one today. But nice. We'll get these juniors started and then I'll start doing them. Remind me what that is now. Uh, hand, plain stamp handmade, toe clips on the front, quarter clips on the hind, in two hours. Same thing I'll have to do for my journeyman. I want to tell you about a good friend of mine, Conrad Tro, who has bought Grand Circuit. Conrad and I have been buddies for almost three decades, and uh, it's an American-based company making shoes right here in our own backyard. And uh, he's a great friend to horseshoeing schools, and uh, um, I'm, I'm just very excited about the change. Grand Circuit's been a, a wonderful company, and we've been good friends with those folks for a long time, and him coming to the helm is just gonna keep improving a already great product. So anyway, I just want to do a shout out to Grand Circuit. They're sponsoring this episode, and I thank them for doing that, and I thank you for buying their product. I got a 
finished stretching it out. This, this was the original. Okay. And that's how long I gotta make it. I'm very, feel more very ready, ready. For this week than last week. So. Yeah, <laughs> I feel good. I guess that's going better. Who was out earliest this morning? I think Sheriff was. I'm not sure. Yeah, what time did you go to bed? Went to bed at like 10, woke up at like 3 30 or 4. And so, inevitably, when you do something like this, there'll be a line that'll be bare minimum of. Okay. That's not really what we'll do. So, those are ones that are not going to end up passing, okay? So this one's not welded completely in the center. Once you get them thin, it gets really hard to weld, right? Like the thinner they get, you got to be fast getting to the anvil. That one's welded up completely, just oversized. That section is closer to what we want, okay? This one is cleaner, this one's more consistent. All right, so who's our $100 hamburger winner? All right. Yeah. Late nights and early mornings work out. That's it. Morning America. It's a hot one. Here in the Midwest. Mercy, were you up late last night? Yeah, like 4 30. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine right now, but I'm sure I'll get tired later. I've been working with my dad since I was 11. He started his shooting business like seven years ago. And um, I told him that I wanted to be able to shoot a horse by myself when I was 13. Um, so then he's like, okay, well, here you go. And he started taking me with him. And then I just started like with the little things like pulling shoes, uh, finish work. And then from then I just started trimming and sh like uh, nailing on shoes and doing, um, I do all the book work for him and stuff. So I have nine siblings. Um, and they are all involved. Everyone wants to learn how to do it. Uh, when we first started, my older sister and I went with dad every single time. Um, and we like pretty much were his main ones. And then when she, she kind of got burned out on it and then slowly like everyone started stepping in. So r right now, like even the youngest ones like want to learn how to do it. Um, seven year old, she's been under the horse learning how to finish and stuff. And it's pretty cool. The first week has been um, a lot of fun, a lot of hard work. The forge work, it has been, it's been hard to get used to. Like, even just like coordinating the hammer and the tongs and everything. In California, it's very dry. And so like, it will be like uh, in the hundreds, even up to 110. And it doesn't feel like near this bad. Like with the humidity, it's really, like you're never dry, it's, it's awful, honestly. But um, yeah, it's kind of a big change and it takes it out of you. How's it going, Nacho? Go bien. Bueno. If you ain't, you ain't successful if you're angry all the time. You can make all the money in the unless world be angry. A, unless you're a you UFC know? fighter. What? UFC fighters can be angry. You know what I'm saying? Not at life. I think optimism. Like just, for just in general, I think your happiness is going to optimism, just positivity. Just let it roll. Yeah. You have a lot of it. That's why I like you. I like you too, man. And your mustache. Oh, it's gorgeous. You know, why spend all day at a pool when I can do this, you know? This is, this is the dream right here.
You gonna do a run today? Looks like it. Go! Good luck, lad! So our, uh, our journeyman students, in their last, uh, the, the last eight weeks, they do all handmaids. But in order to graduate, they gotta do a journeyman run. So it's four shoes, handmade, with clips in two hours. And um, Brant already got certified while he was actually in school. So he's a certified farrier, and he's working towards his, uh, his journeyman for graduation. But it's a, it's a very good step towards his journeyman and becoming an actual journeyman. So yeah, it's a, he's our first one to try this year. Pretty cool. We're in the what, second week of the of the second 12. So he's in week 14. He's trying a journeyman horse. Incredible. I don't know. I had uh, Elijah pass his journeyman horse the first try, but uh, Elijah is a tall, thin kid from um, Tennessee that was pretty remarkable. He was he was pretty freaky talented. Yeah. But uh, other than that, man, you remember the last guy that passed the first try? No, I can't remember. Very smart right there. Beautiful job on that lateral heel. Yeah. All right, let me find her. Yeah, he did good. He's a little dancey, but not too bad. So I was a little, I should have ironed my shoe out a little more, and, but I didn't. So I was a little shy for material on my lateral side. And I was missing, and it's got a weird buttress here where it's missing. Mm -hmm. So I sweetened, sweetened it down, but left my width. So it still looks like a lateral heel, but I just sweetened it down from my third nail hole back. And that gave me my extra width, or extra length. Well, congratulations, young man. That is very uncommon. Thank you, sir. Phenomenal. Beautiful job. Thank you. That was, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. That was just a sweet, sweet run. Amazing. Thanks, That's sir. Yeah, you don't even know how amazing. That's phenomenal. So you should be a journeyman before you graduate. You need to start working on that because you can pass that. That's my plan. Yeah. I, start, I started practicing yesterday, and I thought you were supposed to do seven-minute pairs. So I worked all day trying to do seven-minute pairs, and I could only get it down to ten. Go cool faster. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> What's your advice to someone doing a journeyman run? Be able to build your shoes really fast. And fitting. But building shoes and fitting is the key. Good job, dude. Give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> I, I guess I am wet too. <laughs> 